Hi, boys and girls. I am very excited about the writing today. So, we are gonna get ready to start our opinion writing for the week. So we, you are gonna need this piece of paper. It says, which would you rather go for a ride on? And why? Do a train? Would you rather ride on the train or a tractor? Now we read two stories to help us think about riding on a train and riding on a tractor and all the things they do. So we have a lot of things to think about for our opinion. And don't forget, whatever you choose, and you have to pick one, you have to have reasons why you think or feel the way you do. So that's a little tricky. To help you with your writing, you should also have your sentence starters. They look like this. They can be on the screen, like a, on your tablet or your computer screen, so you can look at them. Or your parents can print them out. And then having some sight words nearby is also really helpful. They can be either on uh, little pieces of paper that your help parents help you write out or you write out. They can be this big list that we have on our classroom website. So any way that you can get some sight words so that you can use them in your writing, it's nice to have those nearby. Just like in our classroom, how we had the sight words written on those little pieces of paper and you could come get them for me. That's why we have our sight words nearby so that we can use them in our writing. So let's go ahead and get started on our opinion writing for the week. Which would you rather go for a ride on and why? Okay, so I've got my paper in front of me, and oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot a pencil. I better get a pencil. All right. Let's try that again. Okay, so I've got my paper in front of me, and I also have my sentence starter paper, or I have it on the screen so I can see it. And then I have some of my sight words, just to help me with my writing. So, this was such a hard thing to choose, train or tractor. And even though Tremendous Tractors was a very persuasive book, it really made me think, maybe I should choose tractor. I ended up choosing train. So I'm going to go ahead and circle train. I'm going to circle the one I want, because that will also help remind me how to spell the word train. That's nice. So everybody, no matter what your opinion is, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Write my, that's right, write my name at the top and stop. All right, everybody is gonna start their paper with the same word. It's going to be the word I, and it's an uppercase word. We always, we always start our writing right at the front, right here. All right, now, I know that this is going to seem strange, but this is the very first time we don't have a sentence starter where we trace it. So I'm going to make it easy for us, and we're going to actually copy some of the words up above. So we all start with the word I, and we're going to finish our first sentence with, with this word. It's a sight word, would. I would, and then we're gonna skip you, rather, I would rather, go for a ride on, that's my first sentence. Now, if you pick tractor, instead of your last word being train, it should be tractor. So whichever picture you circle, that's gonna be your last word in your sentence. Remember, boys and girls, I am doing this as a recording. So if I'm going too fast for you, then you can always pause the video and start again when you're ready. There's no reason that this should make you anxious or frustrated. I just want you to go slow and do your best. 
So I'm going to go ahead and finish my first sentence. I, and I'm going to move on to this word. And if you underline it, it'll help you to remember. i got to get my space. Would I would rather I would rather I would rather go I would rather go for I would rather go for a wide. Remember, I'm just copying the words up above that we've already underlined. That's why it's not taking me very long because I can see the words and I know what to write down here. I would rather go for a ride on now. I would rather go for a ride on, now do I just write train? I need to think about my writing. I would rather go for a ride on train. I think I better use another sight word, on A. And everybody, no matter if you choose tractor or train, you're going to write this, this beginning sentence. I would rather go for a ride on a, now this will be what's different. Some of us will write train and some of us will write tractor. So this is a great place to pause and you can copy these words. And I'm going to write train. That's what I chose. That's my opinion. All right, there's my first sentence, but it's not done yet. What do I need to put at the end of my first sentence? That's right, a period. That is the noise a period makes when you write it on the line. I would rather go for a ride on a train. Ooh, I don't have a lot of room. You know what I should have printed out? I need to get more writing paper. So I'm gonna go back to my list of sentence starters and I need to give a reason why I think or feel the way I do. Well, I know I like trains because I've ridden, I've been on a train trip before and I like the idea of traveling far and eating and sleeping in a train. And what else? So, so far I can think of two, but maybe while I'm writing, I think, think of something else. So we're working up to the goal of coming up with, of writing three reasons why. So we've written what our opinion is, and now we're gonna try to write at least, we'll start with one and then each week we do opinion writing, you should try to add, if you're doing one opinion uh, sentence telling why, then you need to try to do two the next week and hopefully three, and then that'll be good. So we're all trying to get to be writing three reasons for why we think or feel the way we do. So the first one I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna write is I know. I'm gonna write I I know, I know, I, you can barely see that, like, like, is like a sight word? It is! I'm gonna copy that down. Okay. I know I like, oh, I need to write the word train and it's already spelled for me. I know I like train.
And I want to say I know I like train rides. Train rides. All right, I'm going to go ahead and look for the word ride because I know I've used it before. Oh, here's an R, a word that starts with R. R. Ah. R. Nope. Keep looking. R. I. D. E. Oh, there's an E at the end, so it makes the I say its name. R. I. D. Oh, here's the word right. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy that down below in my writing. I know I like train. R. I. And I'm going to say, I know I like train rides. So that's one reason why I chose to ride on a train. And then the next reason is I think I think, I think, I think it would be fun to sleep on a train. I think, can I write for it here? I think I do. It, oh, would. That was also in our sentence starter and it's a sight word. So I can copy it from above or I can look at my sight words and copy that down. I think it would. Be. Fun. Uh, fun. I think it would be fun to I'm out of room. I better get my extra paper. All right. Now, I don't need to write my name on my second paper because I'm going to uh, have it attached to my first paper. So I'm glad I have this extra paper that I've printed out because I ran out of room. Now, if you don't have, uh, if you can't print out more paper, then just write it on the back. So I need to finish my sentence before I wrote... Before I wrote, I think it would be fun to, I'm going to write, eat and sleep on a train. So eat, <gasps> was eat a sight word? It was, we had it in our sight word book this week. I know that it's E-A-T because I remember it from our book. Huh. I think it would be fun to eat and A-N-D. Sleep. Now, sleep is not a sight word. So I'm going to sound this one out. S sleep. Eep. Now here, the E sound is E E. We worked on the E E sound a couple weeks before we started working at home. So I remember that sleep is E E. Sleep. I think it would be fun to eat and sleep. On, I'm going to look at my sight word, see if I can find the word on so I know how to spell it. On a, and then train. And I'm just going to go ahead and look back and copy the word from right here. A. All right, so let's see how many reasons I have that I think or feel the way I do. So far I have, I would rather go for a ride on a train. That's how what my opinion is. Now let's see how many reasons I have for my opinion. 
I know I like train rides. Okay, that's one reason. I think it would be fun to eat and sleep on a train. That's two reasons. And now I'm going to try to get my third reason. I'm going to start the sentence with I like. I like to see. Look at all these sight words. How many sight words was that? One, two, three, four. I like to see. I like to see many. A. I'd like to see a lot of uh, uh, places. L a -s so there I have my three reasons why. I would rather go for a ride on a train. I know I like train rides. I think it would be fun to eat and sleep on a train. I like to see a lot of places. All right, boys and girls, so I have finished my writing and I wanna tell you that you shouldn't, you can try to do all this writing in one day, but I think it'd be better, and this is the way we do it in the classroom, um, is that we do a little bit every day. So if writing is something that is challenging for you or it's a little bit tricky, just spread it out. Try to do one sentence every day. I think that's a that makes it a little bit easier for you to do. If writing isn't difficult for you to do, just do as much as you can do every day. Another thing I'd like to say is that another way that I try to do my best job is to read what I've written. And if I read what I've written, either out loud to myself or to like a mom or a dad or maybe a brother or sister or a grandparent, you could even call them maybe, you'd have to ask permission. You would be able to hear what you've written and see if you've done your best job. So I'm gonna go ahead and read what I wrote and I'm gonna be listening to what I've written to make sure I've done my best job. I would rather go for a ride on a train. Okay. I know I like train rides. I think it would be fun to eat and sleep on a train. I, I like to see a lot of places. know if that last sentence is my best job. So I'm actually going to go back and I'm going to try to do my last sentence again and do a better job. All right, so I have erased my sent my last sentence. I left I like because I think that I can continue to use that, but I need to fix the rest of the sentence. So I like hmm I like that I can see a lot of places from the train. That's what I need to write. I just needed one extra word. I like that. Hmm. Is that a sight word? It's not. But that is okay. I can still sound it out that. Mm. It's not mm. 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 like this or all right. Mm. Ah! Oh, you know what? My pencil just broke and rolled right onto the word that. Sometimes Mrs. Wigan forgets which words are sight words and which ones aren't because there are so many. So, ah. ah, 
my pencil line keeps breaking. I like that I can see I like that I can see uh, a lot from um the train. Ah, my pencil lid keeps breaking, and I'm going to copy how to write train from my paper, from the front of my paper. There we go. I like that sentence much better. I can see a lot from the train. There is my sentences. I did. I think I did my best job. I was even willing to change a sentence that I knew didn't sound the best it could. So boys and girls, do your best job. Go slow. Try to just do one or maybe two sentences a day. Especially do one sentence if writing is tricky for you. And I'm excited to hear about what you will choose, train or tractor, and why you think or feel the way you do.